Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the computer edit process synthesis. So let's start. You can see on the screen, chapter name is synthesis of heat exchanger networks and topic is synthesis of heat exchanger network. Means here we are going to study basic concept of this chapter that is nothing but synthesis of heat exchanger networks. But before starting this, you should know what is the meaning of heat exchanger. So heat exchanger is nothing but it is a one type of a device by using which we can exchange heat from one body to another body by indirect contact of the various fluid streams. So you can see on the screen, this is the important points related to the heat exchanger. I can see definition of heat exchanger is nothing but a heat exchanger is a device designed to efficiently transfer or exchange heat from one matter to another. Okay, for example, I told you in distillation column, we are using two heat exchangers. First one is a reboiler. Reboiler is being used in a distillation column to provide heat to the liquid stream. By using the liquid stream, we are getting vapors. Okay, means providing heat from the reboiler and we are generating vapors from the liquid stream. After that, those vapors are coming to the top section. And those vapor streams are transferring to the condenser. Condenser is another heat exchanger which is being used in a distillation column which is used to condensing the vapor stream. Okay, so these are nothing but heat exchangers which are being used in chemical industry to exchange heat between various fluid streams. Next point is when a fluid is used to transfer heat, the fluid could be liquid such as water or oil or could be moving air. I told you in heat exchanger we can use various fluid streams. Those are nothing but air or any fluid means those can flow. Those streams can flow that is nothing but liquid or vapor or I can say air. Okay, so we can use here fluid could be liquid such as water, oil or could be moving air. After that the most well known type of the heat exchanger which is used in chemical industries in current scenario that is nothing but shale and tube heat exchanger. Okay. In previous lecture I have discussed with you shale and tube heat exchanger in detail where I told you what is the significance of baffle, what is the significance of tube side, what is the significance of shale side. Okay, after that what is the meaning of parallel flow heat exchanger, co-current flow heat exchanger and cross-current flow heat exchanger. Okay, you can see now. Now in this lecture I am going to discuss with you heat exchanger network. What is the significance of heat exchanger network? Why this is a necessary? Okay, so in chemical industry this concept is important to get the process integration. So process integration is nothing but we are minimizing the various utilities which is being used in a chemical industries by using heat exchangers. Means here we are replacing various utilities, cold utilities or hot utilities by heat exchangers. So how to implement this heat exchanger network you can see on the screen. I am considering here process plant. Okay, first point is many streams need heating or cooling that is nothing but external heating or external cooling. After that, utilities like hot air, hot oil, steam for heating. So for heating purpose, we can use external utilities that is nothing but hot air, second one hot oil and steam. Okay, so these are nothing but hot utilities which is being used in a chemical industries for heating purpose. Okay, similarly you can see utilities like air, okay, or I can say cold air, water and chill water. After that, refrigerant for cooling. So these are nothing but external cooling utility. For example, you can see refrigerant, chill water, water and air. That is nothing but cooled air. After that, you can see efforts to be made for reducing the use of utilities. I told you what is the meaning of process integration and what is the meaning of heat exchanger network. Okay, process integration is nothing but we are implementing based heat exchanger network here. For that purpose, we are replacing various utilities by using heat exchangers. Or I can see in simple words, we are minimizing process utilities. Those are nothing but hot utilities and cold utilities by using this concept. You can see uh, efforts to be made for reducing the use of utilities. That is nothing but heat exchanger network. So how to reduce those use of the utilities? That is nothing but by using heat integration concept. You can see there. This can be done by heat integration concept. Okay. So what is the meaning of heat integration? Heat integration implies heat exchange between cold and hot streams. Okay, this reduces the use of utilities. But how to exchange heat by using heat exchanger? Okay, so that is nothing but heat integration concept can be impl implemented by the heat exchangers. Network of heat exchangers. That is nothing but heat integration. 
heat integration means we are exchanging heat between the cold and hot utilities you can see on the screen heat integration implies heat exchange between the hot and cold streams we are exchanging heat okay between the cold and hot streams this is a very important concept for your gate examination as well where patient may be asked like this identify the concept of heat, heat integration we are we are exchanging heat between the cold and hot utilities like this okay or i can say how to uh, means minimize the hot utilities and cold utilities so by using heat integration concept you can accomplish this concept after that this reduces the usage of the utilities but he it increases the usage of the heat in heat exchangers but it increases the use of the heat exchangers we are minimizing the utilities cold utilities or hot utilities but we are increasing the heat exchangers okay next concept however this increases the number of heat exchangers after that heat exchanger synthesis now next concept is heat exchanger synthesis so what is the meaning of heat exchanger synthesis you can see on the screen it means designing a network heat exchanger network we are designing here heat exchanger network so that using minimum number of heat exchangers the usage of the utilities can also be minimized okay whenever you are minimizing the process utilities those are nothing but external utilities those are cold utilities or hot utilities you are minimizing those utilities by using heat exchangers but at the same time you have to keep in mind you have to use minimum number of the heat exchangers okay means we are minimizing the heat, heat utilities those are nothing but hot or cold okay but we are using the heat exchangers that also minimum value then and then i can say there is heat integration with the minimum number of the heat exchangers then and then the cost overall cost will be minimized otherwise cost will remain same okay now next concept is synthesis of heat exchanger network so how to accomplish this concept you can see there are different techniques of the synthesis of heat exchanger network first technique is a pinch technique analysis i will explain this technique in next lecture where we are using the pinch technique means how to find minimum cold utility requirement how to find minimum hot utility requirement how to find number of utilities requirement okay how to find number of heat exchanger network heat exchanger required okay all this concept we will see in next slide and pinch, pinch technique i will explain in special lecture okay so before that i will tell you in next slide how to find minimum number of the heat exchangers before that you should know how to implement this concept what is the meaning of means what we have seen in previous slide here we have seen that heat exchanger network this is nothing but heat integration concept okay in heat integration or process integration we are minimizing the utilities means we are minimizing the overall cost of the plant by minimizing the utilities by using the heat exchangers okay means we are replacing various utilities by using heat exchangers done after that you can see heat heat integration implies the exchange between the cold and hot streams okay means we are exchange heat between these two streams but at the same time you have to keep in mind that usage of the heat exchanger should be minimum so you can see here now and this can be achieved by various methods one method is the pinch technique now you can see here here it is nothing but heat exchanger network concept here you can see both circles are nothing but heat exchangers okay and schematic representation of the heat exchanger network you can see there there are three streams hot streams okay h1 h2 and h3 and there are three cold stream c1 c2 and c3 okay and there are number of heat exchanger you can see but this is not only six streams available in chemical industry in actual plant there are various streams are available actual streams are available those are nothing but external utilities the external utilities means those are those can be hot utilities or cold utilities okay and here our target is to minimize those number of utilities means cold utility and hot utility so how to minimize i told you by using heat exchanger network concept okay so you can see here this is nothing but heat exchanger network where there are large number of the cold cold utilities and hot utilities utilities available those are nothing but external utilities we are minimizing this by using heat exchangers so what are the rules you can see minimum number of heat exchangers that is nothing but represented by the u minimum u minimum is nothing but minimum number of heat exchangers and that can be found by n minus 1 based on this concept listen carefully based on this concept three marks question can be asked in your final examination find number of minimum heat exchangers okay so how to find that first of all that is represented by the u minimum okay 
or u minimum is equal to n minus 1. So, what is n here? Okay, n is nothing but number of process streams that is nothing but n1 plus number of utilities. There is a difference between utilities and streams. Utilities are nothing but external utilities, those are not part internal part of any process. And streams are nothing but process streams are nothing but internal part of any process. But process utilities are nothing but external part of the process means extra amount of the heat or nothing but extra amount of heat we are providing by using hot utility, utility and extra amount of the cooling we are providing by using cold utility. So, this is nothing but difference between the process stream and process utilities. I am repeating process streams are nothing but internal part of any process and process utilities these are nothing but external part. This is extra amount of any hot utility or cold utility we are providing in our system that is nothing but external utilities. So, here our purpose is nothing but we are minimizing these external utilities. How we are exchanging heat between the process streams. I told you process streams are nothing but internal part of any process and process utilities are nothing but external part of any process. So, we are minimizing external part okay, and we are using efficiently our internal part that is nothing but process streams. So, there are cold streams and hot streams are available and we are exchanging heat between this cold stream and hot streams means there is no need to use external utilities okay means we can use minimum number of the external utility we can save the energy okay in overall plant by using this concept and this concept is nothing but process integration i am repeating in process integration we are minimizing the energy requirement okay and we are minimizing overall cost of the plant by use by and how we are minimizing the overall cost here? We are replacing here process utilities by using the heat exchangers. Or I can say we are using efficiently process streams. Those are nothing but internal part of any system. Okay, efficiently. Okay, by means we are just exchanging heat between the internal streams. Means we are not depend on the external streams. Those are nothing but external utilities. So this is nothing but heat exchanger network concept. Okay, so what we have seen in this lecture. I told you related to the heat exchanger, definition of heat exchanger, after that what are the types of the heat exchanger based on the flow patterns that is a co-current, parallel, nothing but parallel after that counter current and cross current. Okay, After that I told you shield and tube heat exchangers, this concept we have discussed in previous lectures as well. After that those fluid streams may be liquid streams or vapor streams, after that we have ex explained here that I explain you related to the heat exchanger network that is nothing but heat integration concept and process integration concept where we are replacing process utilities by using heat exchanger means we are using the best process streams internally okay Me means we are independent on the process utilities those are nothing but external utilities means we are using here process streams efficient manner okay so this is all about heat exchanger network after that I told you how to represent this heat exchanger network. Those circle are nothing but here heat exchangers and those H1, H2, H3, C1, C2, C3 those are nothing but process streams or utilities. After that these are the rules minimum number of the heat exchangers can be find U minimum is equal to N minus 1 and N is nothing but process streams that is represented by N1 and number of utilities represented by the N2. So, N1 plus N2 is nothing but N and U minimum is equal to N minus 1 u minimum is nothing but minimum number of the heat exchangers. So, based on this concept three mark question can be asked okay and overall this concept heat exchanger network synthesis seven mark question can be asked where you have to write all these points after that you have to draw this figure and explain this figure as well okay you have to explain here what is the meaning of heat exchanger as well means give definition of the heat exchangers after that write all these points explain all these points and write these rules as well. So, this is all about this lecture. We will see next topic in the next lecture. Thank you very much.